Welcome to Drag Analysis, a weekly show where we break down RuPaul's Drag Race from the perspective of leftist feminism, as well as throw in as many random cat jokes as humanly possible. While also going into the psychology of what is going on at certain points in the show. So we'll be breaking down what we notice recording our reactions and today happens to be our absolute favorite episode the snatch game snatch game sort of provides an opportunity for people to show different sides of their personality and really shine i would agree i think it allows us to really see like their humor Mm -hmm. and just kind of give us a sneak peek into who they actually are as a person Right, like, how much did we learn about Adore Delano from her portrayal? So much. So much. So much. Like, I think that really let her shine. Her as Anna Nicole was able to, like, bring out all of her personality in a way that we could really see and enjoy and fall in love with her. Definitely. And then we also see the ones who didn't prepare as much. And kind of see how that affects them, kind of getting into their heads and maybe even judging other people. Yeah, and just personally, I kind of get a little bit frustrated when people come on to RuPaul's Drag Race not very prepared for Snatch Game. So who is your backup? Well, um, I don't really have a backup. (gasps) You came to All Stars 4 without a backup Snatch Game? Um... I think pretty consistently you can pick out some of the top four are from who excels during the snatch game. I think it's rare to have somebody win the snatch game and then not go on quite far in the competition. I would agree with that. And there's also the ones that maybe don't do so well, but then they still make it, like Evie Oddly. Right, like she and Brooklyn totally just bombed it. Yeah. But But then Brooklyn came back with that fucking amazing reveal on the runway, that episode. That was probably one of my favorite runways of all time. I feel like sometimes maybe Snatch Game just, they get in their head too much and they don't give themselves a chance to just let loose because they're so stressed about it because it's the big thing. Right. It's the big main challenge. Yep. So I feel like with Snatch Game, there are perfect choices, good choices, and terrible choices. I kind of love that Vanjie is here. Yes, because Vanjie made a terrible, terrible choice. Yes. But that was a great learning experience. Yeah, and I think she'll be able to teach them what not to do which is what she said right but i think them hearing that from someone who actually did really fail at snatch game will make a difference how do you think dry humor translates to snatch game i don't think it works that well unless you're like really fucking good at it but i feel like you have to be really careful with it Mm -hmm. being a robot is a risky choice which i think was a point that Vanjie was trying to make of like pick something that's already within your wheelhouse yeah like don't go so far outside of the box where you just are gonna end up at a place where you're not sure where to go next if you were to partake in snatch game who would you be and why Wednesday Adams yep and really play up the dry humor what would you do Aubrey Plaza yes yep 100% 100% that's what I would do. Aubrey Plaza. Dumb Dee Dee is so dumb. How dumb is she? Dumb. <laughs> so how she would answer too. Yes! Adult <laughs> diaper swimsuits. Brilliant. Love it. Well thought out. So it seems like Crystal Method is going for the cringe humor route, yep. Yep. which can either really work or really not. Who do you think are the strongest from what we've seen so far? Surprisingly, I think Gigi, Heidi, and it kind of feels like maybe Jackie is ramping up to something. I think so too. She's starting slow, but I, I think she's going to get somewhere funny. I think so too. What do you think about Jada? I mean, the look is great. I think she's maybe being a little extra, but that's what Cardi B does. So. Yeah. 
I'm waiting for the stereotypical Cardi B moment. That's what I'm waiting right. for. You know what I'm waiting for? Coronavirus! Yes. Coronavirus! I can't read it without hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope somebody does that next season. <laughs> I think that's going to be a big topic next season. I hope so. Like, we got to find some humor in yeah. this. Uh, can I call it a shit cockle? Yeah. This, I like it. The shit cockle that we have found ourselves in, I think humor is going to be the only way that we're going to be able to process it. I would agree. So <laughs> they make out the paper. <laughs> that's genius. I love physical podcasts. Malfunction? Yes! Please tell me she's gonna malfunction! Please tell me! <laughs> that was perfect! It's not something that you can just do. Like, it, right. it takes some effort and knowledge of your body and awareness of space and awareness of, like, situational awareness to make it funny. If you get hit in the dick, it's gonna be funny. But, like, you can elevate that and become a robot that malfunctions. Yes. And that's also fucking funny. Yeah. I'm really sad that Crystal Method isn't doing that great. Yeah. I'm... I'm a little surprised. I'm kind of surprised, too, because I, that was one that I expected would really be able to to do well because she's so quirky. I feel like Jan is kind of getting overshadowed, too. What's bothering me about how Jan's getting overshadowed is because I feel like the the excuse that keeps being given is that she's, like, so excellent at everything. Yeah. And that, like, makes me angry. Why should somebody's excellence make them not comparable to people? Yeah. You know what that doesn't apply to? Fucking capitalists. Enough said. Because capitalists don't actually earn anything. They leech off of other people in order to hoard wealth like weird Scrooge McDucky dragons. What would you say is the biggest thing being capitalized right now with the Rona? I think that Rona has really shown a lot of the flaws in having capitalism and healthcare anywhere in the same sentence. Like, it just does not work. How capitalism works is basically, like, big fish eat little fish. Um, it, it's all hierarchical, and, you know, some people die off so other people can succeed. That is not how healthcare works. That is not how ethics works. That is really, really not how medical ethics works. So the, the fact that have celebrities and politicians who are asymptomatic, who are getting tested and knowing what's happening versus both of us personally know people who are symptomatic, who are unable to get tested. Some of those people I know are actually healthcare providers, which is a, a really dangerous thing. Having access for some and not for all doesn't work for healthcare because healthcare doesn't give a shit about any of that. Like, the virus does not care how much money you make. It does not care why you are out. It does not care if you are out due to a religious reason or because you're just being a dick. Like, it's this great equalizer that we're all experiencing right now. And I think it's really showing the flaws in our current system. I think so, too. So it kind of sounds like Widow's talking about abuse and maybe maybe depression, anxiety in there, mm -hmm. and how drag has helped her kind of pull herself out of that. What would you say about that? I think that drag is, is great therapy for things like that. Um, I think when you get out of an abusive relationship, one of the first things that, that people try to do is take control again. Creating this whole new per persona is a way to, to take control back and to feel empowered and to feel like a different person than the person who was being abused. So Gigi talked a little bit about how having, in particular, one adult while he was a young gay kid and how that really helped him feel more comfortable uh, to this day. 
that's something that's been sort of empirically backed up by having uh, somebody in your life who is accepting and understanding sort of helps you create a better foundation and gives you a bit of a buffer to uh, um, homophobia that you may experience from the outside world. Yes! Category is Frozen. Oh, I love Jackie Cox's outfit on the runway. Okay, Jada, I don't buy that you are a queen or a princess in that outfit. Mm -mm. Whoa. Oh, damn, girl. Okay, I'm here for that. Yes, 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 yes. I think that made up for the overshadowing of Snatch Game. Mm-hmm. Oh, Widow died in the Titanic. <sighs> yeah, Aiden's performance was like a dead wall. It just didn't go anywhere. I don't. I didn't understand why she didn't. Because Snatch Game is all about the volley, right? It's mm. all about the back and forth. And it felt like Rue was throwing Aiden these balls and she just was like, meh. Like my cat. Like, meh. Yeah. I don't want this. <laughs> like, kind of the same with Crystal. Yeah, I felt like throwing Crystal her all the same of these thing. things and just didn't take it. And Rue will call you out on that. Right, because, like, Rue is specifically giving you an opportunity. Like, why would you not take it? Greta looks gorgeous. I love this look on her. Me too. I like the blue hair. Yeah. I really like Crystal Method's look because it's very different from everybody else. Yeah, everyone else kind of went the same route, I feel like. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take a wild guess and assume Aiden and Crystal are going to be the bottom two this week. That would be my guess as well but the season has been fucking wild so who knows who knows i think okay yep finally gg won gg gg queen that's all i have to say yes that's a huge honor and yep the fact that it's snatch game yep you fucking go so we have britta and crystal who are in the bottom Mm mm-hmm Yes! Oh my god, they made it snow! <laughs> oh my god, Rue, you're fucking magic. Oh. Did this bitch just pull out a magic trick? Yes. If she goes home, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, this is the part of the song where we're supposed to get goosebumps. I'm getting them from Britta. I'm not getting them from Aiden. Agreed. I think Aiden maybe wasn't ready. It's very clear that she's interesting and there's a reason that Rue brought her and there's a reason why she stayed as long as she did and I think that this is going to be a great opportunity for her to build up her fans. I agree. And I am happy that Britta stayed because I think that she really killed that performance. I think so too. Thanks for watching Drag Analysis. I think we had a really good time tonight. It was a really good episode. Snatch Game is always fun and we will be back next week for the Rusical.